from the ridiculous to the sublime, and from the noisy swamp to the deep, quiet wood, and that incomparably beautiful voice of the thrush. Flute-like, it's described, but it's much richer than that, it seems to me, for all its purity. Here's the wood thrush. You often hear him sing close by and then be answered by another thrush off in the distance. Notice how he starts each of his arpeggios at the beginning of the call in a different key, going higher in the scale each time and then descending again. Here he starts low. A series of calls, all variations, no two alike. To show the marvelous improvisations of the thrush, the endless variety of his song, let's hear it at half speed, an octave lower. There's no instrument you can compare it with, the complexity of the song and the rich fullness of the voice itself. Here it's reduced in speed again to one quarter. Notice the the, uh, the weird background sounds. Of course, all the other birds you hear are singing four times slower, too, and uh, two octaves lower than normal. Gives an eerie effect, like sounds in the tropics. Listen. And now a weird but enchanting sound new to human ears. Professor Kellogg and I tried this in the laboratory as an experiment. The, the sound of the wood thrush played at one-eighth speed. We were so fascinated by the results that we recorded it. If a person heard what you'll hear now without being told beforehand what it is, I doubt if he'd ever be able to tell what produces the music.